and welcome to this HubSpot TV tip. I'm Anam Hussain. Today we're going to talk about how to create a custom Twitter background. This process involves six main steps, as you can see on the screen. Keep in mind that your background can be made with the following measurements using any design software. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop. Step 1. Setting the right measurements. Open your design software and create your new background using the following measurements. You're going to want a width of 2048, a height of 1600, and a resolution of 72. Make sure you're working under custom to get these custom settings. Click OK. Step 2. Define your design space. As you can see, a blank canvas has now appeared on your screen. Now, due to the fact that a timeline or feed exists at the center of every profile page, we need to ensure that what we place on our background is never covered up by this feed. The trick here is to ensure that the text and images are viewable on any screen size, i.e. the feed isn't cut off on a 13-inch screen laptop because the background was made on a 15-inch screen. To ensure you are always working in the safe spot, we're going to go back to our file and we're going to pull out a marker at 300 pixels. If you're working out of a design software that does not have this option, simply draw a line and delete it after. This marker will serve as an indicator that everything you are placing is in the right selected area, aka the safe spot. Step 3. Choose a background color or image. Color in the entire canvas one color. You can choose to pick your own image, but make sure you own the rights to that image and that your design doesn't get covered up by that center feed. A solid color is always a safe option and it's easier on the eyes. At this point, you're free to write the text and add whatever images you choose to the 300 pixel wide left hand column we created. To speed up our process right now, I'll simply open up the file that I have from before. As you can see, for HubSpot's Twitter background, we simply added our company name, a brief bio, URLs for our website and social networks, and our company logo, the Sprocket. Nothing too crazy. What you choose should be a reflection of your company in some way, but it should also be simple. Twitter is a world of 140 character updates for a reason. Twitter users are used to brevity. The point is, keep it short. Now you're going to want to save your file correctly. So once click File, Save, and click OK when it prompts you. I have simply already saved my file, so I do not have that prompt. After that, you want to save it one more time. Click Save As, and this time, change the settings to one of the three file types that Twitter accepts, either JPEG, GIF, or PNG. I'm going to go ahead with JPEG. You want to save the file twice because the original file is in the format of your design software, which will allow you to go in and edit specific parts or layers of the file. A JPEG image will be grouped into one image and much more difficult to adjust. For those designing in Photoshop, after clicking Save, you will automatically be redirected to a new prompt. This will give you the option of adjusting the image quality. Be sure that the image size does not exceed 800K because that is the maximum file size Twitter accepts. Clearly here we are not exceeding 800. However, if we were, all you would have to do is bring down the quality one notch and then voila, your size is much smaller. If you are working out of any other design software, you can simply go to www.shrinkpictures.com. As you can see, there will be a video tutorial if you want to watch another one, but it is not necessary. Simply scroll down, upload your image, make your selections, and click resize. And voila! You now have a background ready for Twitter. Step 6. Upload your background to Twitter. Go to your personal or company Twitter profile and head over to Settings. This option is listed in a drop-down menu under your Twitter username on the upper right-hand side. Once you've navigated to Settings, click the Design tab. You want to click Change Background Image, choose a file, click your saved JPEG file or PNG or GIF. There's two options here. Don't use the background image, which may be what's selected on your screen already. 
As you can see, HubSpot's Don't Use a Background image is automatically set to an orange background. However, since you've now made a custom background, click on the other option and make sure that tile background is unchecked because you don't want to have all your text appearing multiple times. Now click Save Changes. And you'll see that there has been no major difference made to mine because I'm simply re-uploading the same custom image. And there you have it, a new profile filled with a custom background image that anyone can go and easily see. For more tips on how to optimize your business, brand, or company's presence on Twitter in addition to a customized background, download our free ebook, How to Use Twitter for Business. You can also check out our various marketing webinars about Twitter online. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for tuning in.